I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now, please go back and sleep. The leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. Hey, you, you're an air spirit, aren't you? Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. We'll both hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? They would find us right away in this room. Xerxes! can be turned. The horns can't be turned. What is that? It sounds like a whisper. What kind of sound? I've never... What kind of sound? I've never heard anything like... Where shall I put it? The horns What kind of I've never heard The whisper is getting louder You must find the garden The name is in the garden And without the name The mask is worthless I know But where shall I begin No one here knows where it is let alone whether it even exists. It does exist. But to find it, you need the mask. I'm so close. While the most powerful men in Avistan smash heads in the Gorian Desert, I'll restore the realm of my fathers, and there will be no one left to stand in my way. Is this the same garden the staff spoke of? What is Kasim planning? You are the woman from Fazar, correct? Weren't you sent to your room? Isn't that strictly my business? I'll just ask Xerxes. Xerxes!
Is that her? Yes, but what is she doing here? Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes, but I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. Why are you anchored outside Draconia? The Air Elementalists helped us build Keshalri. We had hoped they would continue to support us. But they're only interested in elements and the harmonies of the spheres, not in politics, no matter how bloody. The Council will merely send a group of observers on board, but no more than that. Good. Then there'll be someone who can tell the world about me. <laughs> that would be much too selfless for that bunch. The Elementalists have long planned to withdraw from the fate of the world. They expect that the battle will make this decision easier for them. In other words, they hope it'll be so disgustingly bloody that they'll never have to leave their little ivory tower again. If that ivory tower still exists at that point. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a Deont. <laughs> Deont would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. What do you know about the battle? It is said that the demon lord Borborad is planning an invasion of the damned in the Gorian Desert, and Rohal the Wise will oppose him. Rohal's troops have been preparing for the big day for months in Zorgan. Meanwhile, more and more demon scum are forcing their way out of Borborad's portal into the Gorian Desert. A lot of effort for a slaughter that will only last a few hours. However it may end, it will change Aventuria forever. Why a flying fortress? No matter what, we must prevent the plague of demons from spreading. That's why we're carrying the battle directly to Borborad's door. No living thing has ever faced so many creatures from the Nether Hells as we will in three days' time. You should know, demons are tough, nearly invincible. One must lure them onto sacred ground in order to defeat them. And since we can't do that, we'll bring the sacred ground to them. Keshal Ri is a monumental floating temple built to carry the light of the gods into the middle of the armies of darkness. I didn't know about the prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. I eavesdropped on the prince. He's looking for some garden. He wants to use it to seize power after the battle. Surely not the Garden of Oblivion. You know something about it? Well, yes. It's just a legend, but they say there's a hidden cave somewhere in the Rashtulian Wall, near the volcano Rashtul Kancharot. The cave bears the name the Garden of Oblivion because everything that takes place there is forgotten by time itself. Whatever that means. Does the legend also mention a mask? Yes, there was something about that, but I'd have to do some research to be sure. That doesn't sound like something I need to concern myself with. If Kasim's attention is really on a cave in the Rashtulian wall and not on the battle, then he's no longer my problem, so we can safely turn our attention towards our actual goal. The Garden of Oblivion? Have you ever heard of that? No, never. But this story gets stranger from page to page. I may be mistaken, but something about this garden feels wrong. I can't say what just yet. Keep reading. Admiral Wahim turned a deaf ear to every warning, but I felt the danger emanating from this garden. The girl, on the other hand, had tasted blood. I think she imagined the garden was something that could help her achieve her ambitions. Only she didn't know precisely how. Bless this weapon for me.
A simple dagger. I'm fast and agile with it. It has done me loyal service. That's enough for me. However, the blessing will take some time. Pick it up from me later. Well, are you taking me with you or not? I don't know what you think, Wahim, but I like her. All right then. We set sail at dawn. Rest until then. The courts in Keshal Ri are far less comfortable than those here. <clears throat> You've come just in time, Xerxes. The girl has just joined our army, which, in my eyes, makes her a good bit more sensible than your entire council. Hmm. All right. If you vouch for her, as long as she doesn't hurl us all into disaster, I don't care. <laughs> he didn't like that at all. Quite right. Well, back to the fortress for me. Here's to a glorious battle, you two. I'm going to look round the library a bit. The talk of this garden of oblivion has made me curious. They would have immediately joined the army against the demons. I hear a whisper, like something evil lives there. What's that? In the center of the darkness, there's a pedestal. And on top of that, feels like a lamp. I'll take it. Huh? Did the darkness come from the lamp then? It's only a part of the seal. Something's still missing. I feel a rhythm, like a heartbeat. An underground lake. Hey! hey! Another dragon monument? These halls seem to have no end. Behind it, I can see the shape of a large statue. Ice cold. It's shiny and clean. Just a moment, there's an odd indentation. I see water on the other side. The ice gin in these halls has shown me the way to an ancient text. It's one of the few in which the Garden of Oblivion is mentioned. And? It's a travel log by a mage named Harlef ben Jalif. He was a servant of one of the Mughal mages and sent out to find the garden. Which Mughal mage? The last of the Mughals, Malakar. Unfortunately, he never found the garden. And fearing punishment, he began to hide from his master's lackeys. He feared that if he were found, they would, here I quote, first place the mask on me, and then transform me into a lifeless artifact. What sort of artifact? Who knows? Perhaps a ring or a bracelet. Or a staff? <laughs> Those old moguls really knew how to ruin someone's life. What was his name again? He was called Halef Ben Jalif. I wonder if they ever caught him. What else do you know about Ben Jalif? Not much. He was given the mask and sent out to find the garden. That's all it says here. What does the log say about the garden? It says that some sort of magic word is buried in the garden. 
a word that will awaken the true power of Malakar's mask, and that three secret chambers will point the way there. The rest is just incoherent nonsense. Are you sure? Yes. The search for the garden must have gone to Jalif's head. He babbles that the place was created by an ancient entity, a servant of time, and that Satinav, the lord of time, separated the garden from our spheres, so that nothing that happens in the garden would have consequences for our reality. Then there's something about lies that become truth and, and a hole in the book of time. Obviously the inventions of a half-wit. Three chambers show the way? Yes. Their entrances are located somewhere in Draconia. Keep an eye out for this symbol. You can have the pages, if you like. Thank you. However, to open the chambers, you need to have the mask with you. Until you have the mask, there's no point in searching for the chambers. Are you inciting me to steal? <laughs> I'm only here to pass on knowledge. The garden was created by a servant of time? Correct. They say this servant sleeps in the three chambers and waits for a mage to wake him. Does it have to be a mage? Yes. Only the presence of magic will disturb his sleep. Who is Satinav? Satinav is the guardian of time. He watches over the Book of Time and makes sure that no one disturbs or changes the things written there. Has anyone ever seen him? No, he's only a legend. Who is Satinav? Satinav is the guardian of time. He watches over the Book of Time and make sure that no one disturbs or changes the things written there. Has anyone ever seen him? No, he's only a legend. There's a spell buried in the garden which will waken the true power of the mask? What is its true power? It says here that the mask presents its bearer with a choice. He either decides for sweet oblivion or to undo things which once happened, as if they never came to pass. That sounds very powerful. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, it does. More than a few would murder for such power. That's enough for now. You know, I find it curious that you've never heard anything about this at all. I noticed your tattoo. You're a descendant of Malachi yourself, aren't you? Have you learned nothing from your forefathers? No, I'm hearing about all this for the first time. And our prince, above the observatory. He's your brother, isn't he? I just wonder what drives you. An uncanny determination glows in your eyes. Either you'll achieve the impossible, or you'll descend into the deepest madness. I won't be stopped. I only want to warn you. Please, take care of yourself. Why is it so cold here? The Library of Draconia is supervised by the Ice Faculty. Writing is like ice. It freezes a moment in time. In this case, for eternity. What kind of runes are these? Hmm? Oh, those are the symbols of the six elements. That rune stands for fire. That's clearly the symbol for air. That symbol represents ice. That symbol stands for water. That's probably the symbol for ore. That's the symbol for earth. Xerxes! Calm down. I'm allowed to leave my room now. Mm-hmm. What sort of room is this? A workshop. And what do you do here? As an ore elementalist, I study stones and crystals. And dangerous artifacts. Those too. What are you studying now? An elemental sphere. Don't bother me, I have a good feeling right now. The work is going very smoothly. What do you know about this mask here? I don't like it. It 
gives me an uneasy feeling. Examine the mask. Later. When later? Please, stop harassing me with your annoying questions. I feel good about this sphere right now. I need to make use of this inspiration. You only research things that give you a good feeling? I associate warmth and light with the sphere. With the mask, I associate only cold flesh and death. Does that answer your question? How are you feeling now? I associate with the mask. Have you taken a closer look at the staff on the table? Briefly. And? It is in sold. Longer study will show what lies within. Ah. Uh -huh. I know now who you are. Your name is Halef ben Jalif. You were Malakar's servant. He sent you to find the Garden of Oblivion, but you only made it as far as Draconia. As a punishment, the mask was placed on you. Your memory was stolen, and you were made into what you are now. Yes. What did the staff say? It's not written here. The air elementalist could only write down what his spirit observed, not what happened in Saj's mind. Rats! I've been waiting for this moment for so long, and now this. So you're a victim of the mask yourself. I suppose I can forgive you. I can't lose my... I've developed an interest in the mask, but first I should finish with the sphere. know something. What? How are you feeling now? I associate warmth and light with the sphere. I've developed an interest in... What's that? You wouldn't understand, even if I were willing to explain it to you. How can something so beautiful conjure such ill feelings? Time to devote myself to something nicer. So that's it. Is there anything new? The mask is a reservoir. It stores memories. Sure, by draining them from people. Yes, but that's trivial. What's really fascinating is that it stores everything which happens around it. It's as though it observes the world in silence and takes note of everything. If we were to succeed in reversing its effect, we would have access to an enormous archive of past times. I have a good feeling about this. 
How can the magic of the mask be reversed? That sort of thing takes time. I would attempt to weave a modification of a reverse salis into a gemstone and then attach that to the mask. If the spell inside the mask is then recited, it should have the converse effect. Instead of emptying the wearer, it would begin to transmit stored memories to him. I want you to reverse the effect of the mask. That will take time. Besides, I lack an appropriate gemstone. The stone tablet is broken. Don't remind me. I tripped and now it's ruined. Every time I think about it, I almost lose my will to live. Take this ruby, weave the reversal spell into it and reverse the effect of the mask. I told you, it isn't that easy. First, I need to examine the quality of the stone, possibly grind it again. We don't have time for that. I want to know what the mask knows. Do as I tell you. Such an intervention is dangerous. I need everything I can get my hands on in order to survive in the gore. Hmm. My life is at stake here. So do it. You'll now become either completely stupid or entirely enlightened. Fadan Faskadan Esplasta Kvatan Umurilor Gras Farel Goran Hulbe Mutir Gerul Felan Juntir Kvatan Feluntir Zodan Hey, can you hear me? I had a vision. Someone else's memory? So it worked! You sound surprised. You're very lucky that you're still able to speak. What else did you learn? Did you learn any new skills? If so, show me. You can cast spells? I only remember this one spell. No, wait. There's more. The more frequently you call upon the memories in the mask, the more they'll be accessible to you. Take off the mask. Do you still remember? No. The spells are gone. As I suspected, the effect is only active as long as you wear the mask. Put it on again and cast the second spell. Stop playing with my thoughts. Let me try one more thing. Remove the ruby and put the mask on again. Can you still cast spells? Yes. I remember more and more. Ha! I'm brilliant! Once the ruby has created a connection between the wearer and the mask, the bond remains even without the stone. That's enough for now. Give me the mask and you can go. Hmm. It was turned into a small crystal. I suppose the spell isn't very precise about what sort of stone it transforms someone into. It was turned into a... I suppose the... Is it possible to reverse the effect of the darkness? Yes. Now it's as bright as the sun. Whatever this is for.
What is it? What do you want? The face is reacting to the strange orb. I think it wants to follow me as long as I have the orb. I feel the mask in my pocket. It's pulling me, drawing me there. doing magic in my chamber. I've slept for so long. Please, awaken me with your magic. Don't be frightened. Remain seated. There's something you should know. Listen well, and you will understand. Once there was Satinav, the guardian of time. Satinav wrote everything that happened was going to happen and had happened in his book of time. Anyone who deviated from the path written in the book or sought to rewrite time was punished by Satanav with the worst punishment that could ever be inflicted on anyone. He ripped the poor soul from its existence as if it had never been there at all. What no one remembers is that Satinav had a servant. Me, the Jinn of Time, Nemeremnon. In the name of my lord, I roam the ages punishing heretics and healing the rents in the fabric of time that their heresy had caused. I was powerful, and yet I was only a servant, a servant to the boundless tyranny of a careworn master. Then came the day on which everything would change. When a woman came before Satinav with her dead son, she begged for the life of her child, for an adjustment of time. But Satinav, in his infinite cruelty, would not listen. I, however, took pity on the creature. And in an act of boundless benevolence, I created my mightiest tool. A mask. My mask. And I gave it to the creature so that never again would anyone lose something so precious. Weird.
There's nothing else in these vaults, just this one room. This flame sounds different from the others. It almost appears to be singing. Spirit of the flame, come with me. growing beautifully. Yella, come out. the water rise Whoever you are. I've never heard. I don't want to get... I won't fly there until I actually have a reason to. Again, I can barely stay awake. Open my eye.
You have returned. Here now, the second act of my tale. The history of the mask. The mask presents the creatures of the world a choice. Upon those who wear it and speak the ancient incantation written upon it, I bestow blessed forgetfulness, so that the pain of loss gives way to an unsullied new beginning. If the wearer speaks my true name, however, I appear to them and fulfill any wish they have. Whatever was lost, I recover from the depths of the past and bring into the present. Thus, over the years, the dead have awoken to new life, and kingdoms have shone with old glory. My beneficence was boundless, and in my mercy I have overwritten the tyranny of the Book of Time. Yes, it was my name that did all this. My name outshone everything. Not Nemeremnon, as the giants call me but rather my true name, my secret name. Satinav sought to banish my name into oblivion, but again I outwitted him. In the shadow of Luz, I found the one place into which my master could not see. There I dug a hole, and in this hole I placed my name. And from my name grew a garden, Anyone who wore the mask and found the garden would also find my name. My name in my garden. The garden of eternal oblivion. The garden of my forgotten name. Hey, Kasim. He's ignoring me. But I would meet him here of all places. As far as I'm concerned, he can rot in that hole. The light of the lamp is shining through. Nice to see you again, girl. What did Jalif write about the garden again? It says that some sort of magic word is buried in the garden. A word that will awaken the true power of Malachar's mask, and that three secret chambers will point the way there. He babbles that the place was created by an ancient, and that so that nothing. Then there's something about lies that become truth. Ah, yet. That's enough. See you later. Keep me up. It's only a part of the... The drawing fits exactly. You're back. Awaken me and we can end this tale.
Ah, there's one more thing you must understand. My garden and the surreal miracle of which it is capable. Oh, how I love it. My garden. With my name. How singular it is. How beautiful. And how jealous it makes Satinav. Yes, he hates it. He hates it so much that he separated it from your world. He hates that he cannot see into it, that he doesn't know what happens there. Whenever someone enters my garden, his quill pauses, and a page in his book, in which all else is written, remains blank. He hates it so much he decided that nothing that happens inside it can have any consequence for the world outside. Go in and break a branch go out, and in the eyes of the world, it was never broken. But whisper what happened in the garden into Satinav's invisible ear, and he will add it to his book of truth. Only then do these actions become reality and the branch broken. Tell him what you will. If he believes you, then every word becomes true. But woe unto you if he learns that you have lied. Then he'll show his true face. He'll pursue you, and he'll tear you to pieces. For he is old, jealous, and depraved. Only I, only I am great. Sadya, you have come so far. Embark on the final leg of your journey. Follow the path from Draconia down to Satinav's watching pillar. There, I'll appear to you, and if you wish, show you my garden. My garden. My name. My great mercy. I didn't understand that bit with the branch. You mean the garden? I mean everything. The garden, the mask. I couldn't really follow all that, could you? I didn't think it hard to follow. I guess I sort of understand, but by the twelve the world was mad back then. Oh, nonsense, on the contrary. Back then it was full of real magic. A mask that brings back the past, a garden that makes lies the truth. Compared to all that, the miserable hocus-pocus we know today is nothing. Keep reading. Hmm. Oh no. What comes next? Someone else added something here in the margin. After my princess learned the way to the garden, she came to me one last time. The staff! I don't know what awaits me there, but I will go to the Garden of Oblivion. I have to know what Kasim wanted there. Be my guest. I wouldn't dream of standing in the way of your madness. I want to apologize to you. You always wondered why I freed you from the burial chamber. Well, I needed an audience. Someone who would observe all my deeds and remember them forever. I only needed to impress you enough, and you would have never forgotten me. I used you. And why are you telling me this now? It's the garden. It scares me. Scared? You? The Jinn of Time is a wrathful being. Also, I could be playing into Kasim's hands there. I'm afraid I'll never come back out, and the world will forget me forever. Oh, that won't happen. No. You're a wonderful woman. If I had knees, I would have proposed to you a long time ago. <laughs> I thought you wanted to impress me. You hated me a moment ago, and now you're in love with me? <laughs> what makes you think that? You're the last woman I would fall in love with. The woman I would fall in love with is dangerous and unpredictable, mysterious, moody. That sounds just like me. No. The woman I would fall in love with is so calculating and devious that I could never trust her. But you, Sharizad, I trust you now. For whatever reason that may be. The Air Mage already declared his willingness to come along to the Flying Fortress as an observer. I asked him to take you on board with him. You what? Now that we are finally friends. 
You're going to send me to my death, just like that. If I survive the garden, and make it to the battle, I want to fight alongside you. Then please survive. I do not want to wind up in the nether hells all by myself. You won't. I'm serious, Shadizad. If you don't come out, then I'll come and get you. Don't worry. It doesn't matter how hopeless my situation is. I always have something up my sleeve. I'll be back soon. Right. There we are. Seems to be just a normal old rock. You really did come. Put on my mask. And dream of my name. What an honor, my ruby, on the holy mask of the Jinn of Time. Satya, really? Now all I lack is the name of the Jinn. As if I would ever tell you that. Oh, you don't need to. Have you forgotten that we're in the Garden of Oblivion? Everything that happens here will only be real if someone tells Satinav about it. My servant will simply claim that I found you here and tortured you until you finally told me the name. No actual blood and only one little lie. But the lie will be truth in the eyes of the world. I'll leave this place and it'll be as if you really had revealed the name. But shh, keep it between us. I will find you, and I will destroy you. Of course you will. There you are. I thought you were going to abandon me. Let's get out of here. Halt! One move and you're dead. Oh. Climb back into the hole. Now! Why are you trembling? Shouldn't I be the one who is afraid? Kazim said I should kill you if you don't obey. Really? Don't make me do it. You're a girl of the streets, am I right? Shut your mouth. Yes, you are. You're not tattooed. Kazim has always loved playing with destitute little girls. Shut your mouth. Go on, shoot. This is my last warning. Jump into the hole. I wasn't tortured at all. You can't prove that. Do you see any wounds? Why won't you just do as I tell you? You told the world that Kasim tortured me, and that I told him the name of the Jinn as a result. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth right now! 
What did you tell Satinath? How did Kasim torture me? Huh? I'm going to shoot you. Do it. Kill me. I can't. Oh. You can't kill me. At least not out here. You said that I died in the garden, didn't you? Stop it! But then, how can I be standing here, talking to you? Ah! By the gods! Where did she go? Satanav tore the girl to pieces. With that, he corrected the course of things. The prince no longer knew the name of the Jinn of Time, and Sadja was once again free. My air spirit took her to the Flying Fortress and then reported back to me. Although it's impossible for him to lie, I advised him to be careful with his report. Every event that took place in the garden must be told as close to the truth as possible in order not to play into the hands of the garden's twisted logic. That ends the entry. Is that all? Hmm. Right at the end, there's something on the last page. What's that shouting outside? I'll look. Geron! The Tullamedes have been spotted in the forest. The town is preparing to hunt them down. This on top of everything else. This time the army and the School of Arcane Combat are involved too. Can you try to stop them? I'll see what I can do. Thanks. The whole forest is swarming with mages and soldiers. We should split up. How's your wing? Fine. Good. Then you can search the forest from above and I'll stay below. We'll meet back here. You got that? Yes. I hope I can find this place again. Nuri, this is your old waterfall. You lived here for years. Ah. Oh. Uh, yes, that's right. See you soon. <laughs>